Hi there. My name is Dave Demian. I'm a rapid e-learning designer and developer and I'm always searching for new visual effects. Welcome to my Camtasia Studio tutorial on how to create some hot new animation effects. This is a three-step process. The first step is to make an overlay video with a transparent hole in it. The second step is making the background image to show through that hole. And the third step is creating and synchronizing the animations on those two pieces. So let's get started. First in PowerPoint import the magnifier image. Next insert a standard rounded rectangle. Resize it to fit the glass area. Select a fill color you know is not on your other images. Here I'm going to be selecting a nice green color. Now turn off the boundary or the outline. And right click to save it as a picture. Now let's switch over to Camtasia. I already have the overlay image which is an Excel spreadsheet captured at 70% zoom and the green image I just created. Drag the Excel clip onto the timeline. Set the editing size to what you want the final video size to be. then drag it out to about 10 seconds. Drop the green blob on the next track and then expand it to match. Later on this green image will be made transparent so the magnified image below shows through. Resize this so there's room to put the magnifier on it later. And position it over the area where you want to start the effect. I want to examine these column headings, so I'll put it over column A. Now let's zoom in on the timeline for more control. And position the playhead near the end of the clip. With the green area selected on the timeline, select the Visual Properties feature. Add a new animation to it. I'll just drag it over to the right so it's over the last column on the sheet. Now stretch the effect over the whole clip beginning to end. Let's scrub through to make sure it's moving the way we want. And we need to save the project. and produce the video. Now here's a new project where I have already brought in the video I just made. An image of the magnifying glass and the same spreadsheet only this time it's zoomed out to 150%. Again, to establish the editing size, I will bring in the video I just made to the timeline. Keep the same size settings that you want for your final video. Zoom the timeline to view details. Drop the magnifier on the next higher track. Notice this is a PNG, or Portable Network Graphics file, with a transparent background. You can't do this with JPEGs, because uh, transparency is not supported on JPEGs. Now match the clip duration. Position and resize the magnifier so it covers the green patch.
and just verify that the patch is moving the way you want. So now we know we need to animate the magnifier to match the movement of the green patch. First I'll drop the magnified screenshot of the spreadsheet on the timeline and stretch it to the same duration. Drop it into the background by putting it on the lowest track. Now I will zoom out the view so I can resize the background. It's okay to overlap the ends. And position the sheet so the first column will be approximately under the green area. Let's go back to full size preview. Position a playhead at the end point we established in the first video. Make sure the track with the magnifier is selected and add animation. Position the magnifier right over the green area and stretch it to cover the duration, matching the movement of the video or as close as possible. Scrubbing through I see it does match pretty well. Now select the Overlay Video track and check Remove a Color. When you click the eyedropper, you can select the color you want to erase. So I select the green and the magnified image below shows through. Now I need to synchronize the two. We need to animate the background to do that. I'll position the playhead at the far end again and add animation. Keep in mind we're animating the big zoom spreadsheet now. And I'll move it back until the last column is showing through the glass. Make that animation match the others in duration. Now let's take a closer look. Playing from the beginning, you can see all of these elements are well aligned. As a final note, you probably realize that you can stop the movement anywhere you need to so you can explain details about the spreadsheet. You can also add multiple animations like I did at the beginning of this screencast to achieve some neat effects. Let me know how you make out with these animations. Here's my contact information.